This video will depict and describe a novel biologically inspired wheel design that is capable of enabling homeostasis and opposes the idea that the wheel could not have been created by nature. Before describing the proposed system, it must be understood that homeostasis is the process of maintaining the internal parameters of a body by separating a fully connected interior from the outside world. An example of this is the human body, which uses skin to create a fully connected internal area that contains all essential organs, muscles, blood vessels, etc., all of which are connected together. The traditional wheel and axle system does not have the ability to maintain internal parameters in a manner similar to the human body because any barrier that would create a distinct, fully connected interior between the vehicle and the wheel would tear or resist the motion of the wheel once the wheel rotates forward. The lack of this ability hinders the traditional wheel design from repairing itself from the inside or regulating its tire pressure which can be useful when the tire is punctured or stuck in sandy or soft terrain. Our homeostasis enabling wheel demonstrates this possibility as shown. The entire setup holds on an aluminum plate. The aluminum plate can be seen as the underbody of any system that would use wheel locomotion. When the vehicle is complete, we can see that the system has a distinct connected inside, shown here in red, and a distinct outside, which includes all of its outside environment. The area above the aluminum plate consists of several components such as servo motors, an aluminum frame, and a rotating shaft, which lie inside the vehicle. The entire area below the aluminum plate is covered in rigid skin, seen in blue, and two flexible skins, seen in black and white, that we will refer to as the tegument. Notice that with this tegument arrangement, the connected inside of the vehicle includes the inside of the wheel. Underneath the tegument are two rotating shafts that transport torque from servo motor 1 to the wheel via bevel gears. Holding the shafts in place are a set of 3D printed connector pieces, ball bearings, and an aluminum frame, which allows the entire system to rotate around the wheel. We now demonstrate that this homeostasis enabling wheel can work, and we therefore prove that there is no physiological obstacle for nature to invent the wheel. Throughout the entire sequence of events, the wheel only rotates forward, but the skin doesn't rip nor tear. This is attributed to the bounded oscillatory rotations of the shaft driven by the servo motors, which can be closely observed in the next video. By observing the blue gear and the large white gear, it can be seen that both gears have bounded oscillatory rotations, which create a continuous forward rotation of the wheel without tearing the tegument. The blue gear oscillates between negative 360 degrees and positive 360 degrees, and the large white gear oscillates between positive 90 degrees and negative 90 degrees. The motion of the homeostasis enabling wheel is a representation of Dirac's belt trick as seen here which illustrates that for objects with a stationary end and a rotating end, a 360 degree rotation does not return the system to its original topology, but a 720 degree rotation does. The proposed device proves that a wheel can be fitted with a tegument for the purpose of maintaining homeostasis and retain the same functionality as a conventional wheel, which also means that this mechanism can be seen as evidence for the argument that nature could have invented the wheel. Thank you.